And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Teemo. That's right, we're going to be playing a fun one here today. And we got four fun ones on the docket, four pretty fun donation decks. Uh, this one in particular is just some of my favorite cards. Teemo and Katarina are probably my two favorite champions to play. I think they're both really fun champions to play. So we got a deck that has both of them put together. And plus, the top end is one of my favorite cards, this new University of Piltover, where we can get some random cards. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing some awesome stuff here. So basically, when you have a leveled up Teemo, and you hit the opponent with it, you get to double the, the puff caps in their deck, which that sounds pretty awesome. But what if you could actually do that more than once in a turn, and you get to <laughs> attack multiple times? So we have our Katarina in here that we can play at Rally, and hit their nexus again and double the poison puff gaps in their nexus again so that's kind of what the synergy is between teemo and katarina puff cap peddler of course is probably going to be the most important card in our deck having this one playing a bunch of spells this is the the most efficient way to get poison puff caps in the enemy deck um and then yeah we just have a bunch of removal spells we're you know kind of a control deck playing a late game style and then at University of Piltover at the top end to um, to just kind of refill our hand. You know, like we'll we'll run out of cards with all these uh, cheaper cards, and then we play University of Piltover, and every single round we will create three new random cards in hand. So we'll have plus our draw steps. We'll have four random cards every single turn. All right, so this should be a lot of fun. Let's go take it on over to Ranked and let's see how we do with Katarina Timo. Ooh, playing some Karma. I like seeing that. I like seeing the slower decks because the Puff Caps, uh, with playing Puff Caps, you want to play against slower decks. See, so you, your Puff Caps have time. Um, I definitely want Peddler and I'm not sure about the rest of these. But we definitely want Peddler. We want more Peddler type cards. All right, we'll take all this. So they're, they're obviously a go-hard deck, right? Like, they're playing go-hard, they're playing Vile Feast, um, playing a lot of stuff like that. that egg, did it move? Okay, well, we know the Teemo's going to hit him now. Um, so because of that, I was going to pass and wait and see if we could, like, get enough Puff Caps to level up our Teemo first and have a 2-2 Teemo attacking later on in the game. But now we know for sure we're good. We're giving them five puff caps, at the very worst. And yeah, so they had to go hard. Just trying to help. In hot. And so we'll just start with that. Of course, being a University of Pilt over deck, we also want to. Victory at any cost. Sorry, we also want to empty our hand fairly quickly if we have University of Piltover. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I taste purple. Yay. Cool, another pet peddler. Have a mushroom. Have three. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and cast a Static Shock here. There they go. All right, let's start adding up those Puff Caps. Fortunately, not the best Culling Strike deck. And they're really not doing very much. Why is University in this deck? Yeah, why not? Yeah, University is a lot of fun to play. Get to do some craziness. Okay, I'm just gonna pass because Karma could be played. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. 
The problem with going one at a time is that they had health potion randomly. And so like I do one and then I you know get my puff caps, and then I do the other, and then they health potion their karma and save it. Alright, 27 puff caps. We know no ruination. Creating this blade's edge, which, you know, creating free spell. Works out pretty well with Puff Cap Peddler. It's just a neck. I'm just gonna pass. I'm not really playing the Legion Grenadier. I don't know. We need. We don't really need to put more. Th more things in front for ruination one and then two i'd rather just keep the keep my spell mana and keep gaining spell mana well let's keep gotcha because gotcha can can actually kill a karma or go towards killing a karma. I got nopified. Let's save them six puff caps. The dragon lives. I keep stunning my Katarina. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. Dang, they did that before I could get more puff caps on them. See ya. A misstep. I've always been a fun guy. Puffcat Peddler is nice. <laughs> she takes so much damage. Get so much puff caps. No. And Gohard does put two extra cards back into their deck, so that's bad for my puff caps. I'm just gonna pass turn. Every turn that kind of goes on is good for me because you know they take extra damage from puff caps. So I would have just I was just planning on going to attacks with the Katarina, but now having the Teemo, I want to kind of see if we can. I don't know, like if they're gonna like ruination or something. I want to have like the Teemo afterwards. Heart and mind as one. Right, like I want to attack with this Teemo. Whatever the cost. So I could see them having a deny. Uh, double withering whale. I'm not done. Ionia. Okay, well, let's double up the puff caps over there, hopefully. Keeps pausing on them. It feels like they have, like, Vile Feast. Or another Go Hard. Success is planting your mushroom crop. Another day in the field. Go scout ahead. Your attack is obvious. Enough for everyone. All right, back down to seven. And double up their puff caps to 80. Let's draw seven. Okay. Halfway there.
five? Ah, uh, just two. We're almost there. Come on, Teemo, you can do it. No. Alright, down to four. I'll play the Teemo on their turn. Ugh, only one. <laughs> um, sure, I mean, if they just want to go draw another card. Draw three. There they go. Oh, they just surrendered. Okay. I was like, but that only just fell two. All right, Katarina Teemo. GG's. Yeah, love love winning with a Teemo deck. Winning with a Teemo deck's always a lot of fun. All right, so we got uh, Lux and Leona. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of that. Leona is a 3-5, so theoretically dies to Culling Strike. We'll keep these two. And we'll keep the Katarina, and we will get a, a uh, Mystic Shot. No, the, that rank number is like how many rank points you have. And so the, the more, the better. It's not like a place. Uh, it's not like a standings rank where you want to be number one. It's just the. Not the best. Yuck. <laughs> we have drawn all of our top end with this hand. I guess University of Piltover and Katarina don't work well together, do they? Yeah, those work really, really poorly together, don't they? I was hoping for Leona here, that they play Leona and I'd be able to calling strike Leona. Bask in her radiant blessing. No going back. For or just like something else large that I would like Blades Edge. <clears throat> no and be able to use way. that with Noxian Guillotine. There we go, something else to do. Just had nothing else to do. Besides play Katarina. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Face it to the sun. We'll attack for four. Back heretic. It looks like they do not want to get their Robin in combat much at all. I fight for the fallen. All right. No going back. Dawn has arrived. May it never leave. This is pretty messy. <laughs> this our deck looks really silly in this game. Of like all these cards that don't do anything. Looks very silly. Death doesn't scare me. So the goal this is to set up Noxian Guillotine for next turn. 
die. That's what I'm trying to do. Noxion guillotine all of these things. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. I am the bulwark against darkness! So hopefully that works. I'll kill that one first. Daylight star will rule the skies. I'm saving the mushroom clouds in hand for if we drop off Cat Peddler. Then we can play the Peddler, play the mushroom clouds afterwards. Alright, this doesn't look too good for us. Nope. My spirit shines. Well, that <laughs> looked really good the first game, and then looked really bad that second game. No, I guess a little less than half. Basically half. Okay, this looks like a, a much more reasonable opening hand. Now, unfortunately, with this, we're playing against a Go Hard deck <clears throat> that I'm not sure the Teemo is a really good option against a Go Hard deck. I don't think we need the Scorched Earth. I like how Spider Chump Womp. I'll just keep the Teemo. Okay, cool. Let's test them, see if they played something. Do you have a surprise for him or or not? Clear off. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're playing Team Ocarina and Masters. That's right. Packed him good. So their cards are basically only doing one damage, right? Like their removal spells. I think all their removal spells just do one damage. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. So I want to play Chump Womp, but I also want to have Transfusion available. So we're in a little bit of a bind. There's nothing to fear. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just play the Chump Womp. You won't suffer long. Excuse you. Pay dirt. I've always been a fun guy. All right, so we're at eight. One more of those make it sixteen. Their deck does draw a lot of cards. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. So giving them a bunch of puff caps when they draw a lot of cards could be pretty good. This bait's annoying. Alright, 
Alright, so that's 38 puff caps. Um, still gonna be kind of difficult, you know, like, we're dealing with all this stuff. But yeah, if they want to, like, draw all these cards with Twisted Fate, they're gonna have to deal with drawing a bunch of cards with puff caps. Here. Well, I could Coling Strike. I think I just give them 16 more puff caps. I think we just go ahead and do that right away before they potentially play something else that draws cards. Get them up to 50. So now I know that we can culling strike the Twisted Fate. We don't really need to culling strike the spray pin. Y'all can't see Harvey. There, there she is. She's like, but I want to scratch the carpet. And when I looked over, she looked at me with those big puppy dog eyes of like, what? I didn't do anything. Never. That's right. We're trying to counter Twisted Fate by going with the puff caps. <laughs> Just woke up. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, so how many puff caps did they obliterate? Only two. Okay, good. So those three cards only had two puff caps. Um, let's attack here. Okay. I was thinking that maybe they'd be going Glimpse Beyond. Violence solves everything. Alright, no glimpse beyond, that's good. If I want to play Katarina and attack again, they could just take the four. Let's play this Grenadier as a blocker. Ah, they drew zero? Come on, zero? So I'm not sure which one I Culling Strike. I could see me Culling Striking the Spray Fin and keeping Twisted Fate alive. Because the thing about a live Twisted Fate is, one, they don't get to play new Twisted Fate, which, you know, like, playing new Twisted Fate's just, uh, really rough. Sure about that? Right, you know, like, the, the gold card, you know, like, just going red card, gold card, all that kind of stuff, that's, that's always really rough. Um, but then also, like, if they do level up Twisted Fate, that means that, like, every turn they get blue cards, so every turn they're drawing more puff caps. So it's honestly not that bad. Real question is, do I take two? I guess I take two. Try again. Let the blood begin. And so like, if they do have another Twisted Fate in hand, all that other Twisted Fate's gonna be is, you know, like the pick a card that's just gonna draw a lot more of these puff caps. Now they, they of course can just block. They are allowed to do that. But that's that's pretty unintuitive, and I don't really expect them to block. Mm. So I could have Ravenous blocked one of these. I didn't really expect them to block with all of them, but I guess I, maybe I should have with me having all these puff caps. So I guess I should have Ravenous blocked before attacking. I don't really want to like Ravenous Flock and then they play like some other, like a Pool Shark or like some other like easy, like better blocker. But I got punished, I should have played the Ravenous Flock. These Doom Beasts are looking pretty good. Okay, there they go. They're gonna actually do the pick a card. So that's going to be four cards they're drawing. Yeah, that was only... Those three cards only had four total puff caps. 
I guess you can win them all. I should have like six on average. Like, like they're, you know, like double. Okay, that one kind of made up for it. I've always been a fun guy. I was looking for like mystic shots. Oh my gosh, they're just drawing two more cards. They missed no puff caps? Come on. There's gotta be some puff caps right here. So I, I wanna I'm doing this before the blue card. There's a mystic shot. Draw four. Draw five. Ugh! No moss. No moss. I've got something special. Doing this to give them three more puff caps before our peddler dies. I'm a people person. They've twice drawn cards with zero puff caps with them having all these puff caps. And they've also drawn all three Doom Beasts. Alright, they gotta draw two puff caps. Two puff caps. All right, three will probably do. Because if they if they play any card to stop this, that card would give them blue card for Twisted Fate. So before that would happen, like even if they, if they play any card, they get the blue card. And uh, that blue card probably kills them. All right, what we got? Ooh, same matchup. All right, let's go Peddler. Keep the Grenadier. Cool, got a Peddler. We did hit him that one time with the Teemo to double the Puff Caps. That was pretty important. That's pretty nice, getting a hit in for three. I'm surprised they didn't have any one or two mana unit. I need more oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. Hmm. They're doing a good job going wide. Alright, so that's less cards for our puff caps to go on. Double pay for the next kill. Hmm. Sure about that? I think I need to save Mystic Shot. Too many other important things to to play. I, I wish I didn't play the peddler the last turn, I wish I would have played the house spider. Last turn, obviously, I didn't know that they were going with another petty officer. But yeah, like I'd rather Mystic shot this, uh, this thing here, this Zap Spray Fin. Okay, now we could, we could get a top end card. Katarina Progress Day, University of Piltover. Any of those? Okay, not yet, not yet. Never lost a fair game or played one. 
I think now I don't I don't have like the puff caps over there to want me to try to incentivize them leveling up this twisted fate. Its problem is again though they get to just play new twisted fate, and that is a a problem. Think I got something. And so basically trying to trade these off before they just play a second, you know, just play another Twisted Fate and have red card again. It's Black Spears. Alright, top end, where are you at? Nope. Ravenous Flock Scorched Earth looking pretty bad. They just have looked pretty bad, just like throughout these games. Go with the flow. Through the coral. They've drawn four cards so far with no puff caps. For silver, I talk. For gold, I it. But finally. Hey, Soul Raider. Hope you're doing good. Yuppie! I talk to spirits. These are my rules. So both of our losses are kind of the exact, like, assuming that we're going to lose this, both of our losses will be basically the same game, just flipped, where we we played a game where we had nothing but top end, and we just had nothing to play. Because all we had were just our, our top end cards, just just clogging our hand, and our hand was just filled with garbage. Um, I don't know. I kind of want. I guess. Do I want him to draw two cards? Kinda. Let's give him three puff caps first, and then this one, the exact opposite. We have, you know, had zero top top end cards and just had nothing to play because we just ran out of stuff right away. <laughs> so, kind of the two ends of the spectrum. Our, our two losses, you know, so we're going to be two and two after this game. With our two losses, our deck looking very, very silly. Our, our deck's looking pretty silly here now. Uh, we did have, like, you know, just, like, House Spiders and Legion Grenadiers, which usually do a good job of going wide. And, uh, you know, they had the Twisted Fate that shut those down. Yeah, I, yeah, out of the way, and yeah, turning, uh, turning Pale Cascade into a permanent buff, that is pretty sweet. Oh man, this is silly. Come closer. I don't fight. Alright, All right, so both of our losses were really, really bad. Mark, the landmark honestly shouldn't be in here. It would have been good to have that game, but um, playing through this, Uni University of Piltover doesn't fit in here. It just doesn't work with Katarina. Um, but, you know, it would have been good to have that last game, of course. Right, I guess we'll try this out. Theoretically, Culling Strike can kill both champions. Theoretically, we'll see if that works in practice. Okay. I'll take the Nopify there. I'll trade that. That's not very nice, Cindy. It's not very nice. Only fools hesitate. 
Hush? Yeah, okay. And honestly, I'll just I'll just trade this. I know I could use a culling strike and save Katarina. But I'll just trade this because Katarina and University just don't work. I'll just trade that off. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. I have a bunch of gems. All right, let's play university. <laughs> My hand's not very good anyway. Timo. So we can go Timo and. Then we can go um, higher gun. I'll see this through. I would not. Why is University a three up? Because it's really fun. In some games, you just need it. Uh, like like the previous game we just played. Definitely would have needed it there. Conflict is all in the mind. Deal one to an ally and an enemy four times. Conflict is all in the mind. That's not a, a picture you see too often. All right, so we went two and three. Prepare yourself. Um, not too bad though. Not too bad. All right, so uh, I wanted to try University of Piltover in this deck, really, because you know it's just a, a real fun card to play. And everything, but uh, playing these games, realize the University of Piltover does not fit, does not work with Katarina. So we should just have we should have two progress days and two. Um, this is what this is what we had before playing this deck. So we, we should have two progress days, two augmented experimenters. Because um, yeah, like well, University of Piltover is super fun. It's a super fun card. It does not fit in the deck. So let's. Uh, change those out moving forward, play two experimenter, and play a second progress day. Because you do need, you know, you do need that card advantage because you can run out of cards. Now, also, I wanted to try a Scorched Earth, a Guillotine, get an extra flock in here. I was really disappointed with those cards. Um, I would go back to playing some Thermogenic Beams. Those cards, uh, we we frequently didn't have the uh, the ability to like other to regularly damage enemies. Um, we could keep a guillotine in here, but I would I would play one flock, take out a scorched earth, and play two thermogenic beams. But there we go. So there's there's Katarina Timo. I would I would make uh, those two changes. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I haven't. I don't love thermogenic beam, which is why I wanted to take out the thermogenic beams and try the other cards. But honestly, whenever we had those, I would have much preferred thermogenic thermogenic beam. So I think that we should get those back in here. Um, another option is Death Sand. Uh, that could be another thing if you if you want that instead of the beam, but I don't know. I like the beam. I'm gonna. I think that I think the more giant beam fits pretty well here. 
All right, but there we go. So that this was a donation deck here just to play some of my favorite cards, put them all together. We're going to be, you know, so that was our Teemo Katarina deck. Uh, we didn't get to do the the whole uh, attack twice with level up Teemo with Katarina. That would have been pretty fun. But Puffcat Peddler, as you saw, was just an all-star and, and really helped win the two games that we did win. Um, and that's what we got. All right, so anyway, that's Katarina Timo. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love seeing those. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.